And it's gonna be a long, long time Before we run Into the sun Fuck, come on, let me do my thing here! It was pretty good, actually. Now I come in. One, two, three, four. I. Nope, hold on. Two, three, four. When. Nope. One, two, one, two, and. When. Compass navigator. Do y'all say compass or compass? Let me know, chat. Come piss. Oh my god, you guys are. I'm so glad I can rat. I'm so glad I could weed out all of the toxic people in chat because there's a lot of Twitch admins in chat right now watching. So, good luck getting your accounts up and running. Banned for life. All right, new game. Like this, only you can change the life. What song is that? Is it? Did you ever know that you're my hero? Ew. Animated on twos, everybody. And the eagle takes to flight. Yeah, the wind beneath my wings, that's the one. Did you ever know you're the wind beneath my wings? That's something like that. This quest started the ceremony. Oh, my name's Sable. Oh. Oh, uh, my name is Sable. I'm such a sucker for interior lighting with exterior lighting pouring in. I'm such a sucker for that. Such a damn sucker. I don't even have uh, any of the... I can't bring up the cum piss. Welcome to the world of Sable. Press A to yump. Let's yump it. Oh, cool. We're dealing with like Halo 1 level physics, levels of gravity, you know? Or Master Chief just kind of floats. There's a ladder. Don't go in there yet, Any. There's a ladder up here. Secrets. Welcome to the world of Sable. Hi, I'm Sable. Welcome to my world of Sable. Oh, 
Oh, a little music. A little bongos right there. Oh, good. No fall damage. Oh, good lord. I thought I was for sure dead. I thought I was for sure done for. This is gorgeous. This is really nice looking. Just add a dash mechanic and a parry and we'd be game of the year. I do know that there's no combat in this game. But I still think it's gonna be fantastic. A shy Zelda, yeah, it's a shy. <laughs> it's not quite a Zelda, it's a shy Zelda. I can feel, I can feel Jaddy smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can feel a teeth bearing little grimace behind mine. I'm nervous, and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have a little worried about. Oh, I'm thinking about. Oh, I'm talking to myself about ja ja Jedi, J Jaddy. Is this a Jedi? You have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? You know you have nothing to worry about? I'm not worried. I tell I'm not worried at all, and it's possibly the least convincing I've ever been. You can say that, my love. But I do know who you are. But I do know how you are. You're gonna be nervous until you've started, and then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat, and you were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws gripping onto me. I feel the memory in my fingers, but then I promised you, you'd be all right. I told you how much you'd love riding back as a young woman and how wonderful the wind felt through fabric. Suddenly, there you were. You sat down, you leaned forward and put those grasping claws on the handles and you were off. I remember thinking, just watching you tear or tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. Jad, Jaddy? Jadai? Jadai? How do we, how are we pronouncing this? We got to figure out a way to pronounce this. Jeff Grubb, how am I pronouncing this? Thank you for your Prime Gaming subscription, Jeff Grubb, of YouTube.com forward slash Jeffrey Grubb, and Twitter.com forward slash Jeff Grubb. JD? It's like Jedi? Jedi? I like JD. How about Julius? Jose. I'm gonna go with Jade, JD. I'm gonna go with Jedi. Just like how the Emperor says Jedi. <laughs> Who's Julius? You'll have to wait and see. I think I'm ready. I think JD, JD, I still can't commit. I, I still can't fucking commit, Jesus Christ. And tell her with a nod that I don't think I'm ready. Yaddy or Molina. <laughs> I know you are. So let's get you started. You need to talk to Hilal and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike, and Hilal will share something. Well, let's say as useful as it is fun <laughs> I think I might suspect with J JD's JD fucking shit I don't Jaddy ja John Jonathan but what if I choose the wrong path I asked Jad I Jad <laughs> why can't I commit <laughs> my god <laughs> Joom. It's going to be Joomy. Jamie Kennedy. Not Greg's mom, but the actor Jamie Kennedy. Jadakiss. I'm going to go I'm going to go with Jadakiss, dude. I'm going to go with Jadakiss. <laughs> I love Jadakiss. I'm going with Jadakiss, dude. What will become of me if I choose the wrong path? 
There are no wrong paths, Sable, or right ones. I'll be glad if you choose to stay with the Ibexi, but truth be told, I'll be glad no matter what, so as long as you're happy. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing. So don't try to use me as an excuse to come, her come home early, eh? She knows me. Now go speak with Hilal. I will be there to see you off. No problem, Jada Kiss. And speak with Driss as well. I told him to arrange your bike with Cizo, but you know who he is. Who he is or how he is? It's hard for me to read when words are big like that. If that makes sense. Thank you. Go on. It's nearly time. Oh, look at this compass. Come piss. Oh, I forgot that that's sneak. I forgot that's the sneak button. As I approach Hilal, they give an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Hilal's verve and vigor. On a day like this, I'm ready to match it with a touch of nerves for balance. Sable, take this! Hilal hands me a small round stone. As it nestles into my palm, I feel a warmth not borrowed from Hilal's hands, but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and find a softly electric, and find it softly electric like static on a cloth. What is this? I try to sound less confused than I am, but I ask Hilal what this is. Oh, Sable, you can't leave without it. What I've given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? I tell Hilal that I feel electricity. Then you're doing it right. What do you feel in that stone is openness. I look at the stone, it seems quite closed. Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up the power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Right now it's empty or dormant, I'm waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do this. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Hilal claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. And as I'm about to leave, Hilal stops me. Oh, have you gotten your bike yet, have you? It's a bit of a trek to the temple, so go see Driss. He was meant to get that ready for you, yes? I remember Jadakiss's words and tell Hilal I'll go and see Driss. Jadakiss and Driss. What, a, what an adventure duo. They've got some stories to tell. I can't wait for the prequel. What did I pick up? $20? I got 20 bucks. Just, <laughs> just laying in a pot. Ripping off Hilal. Oh no, I didn't mean to grab onto that. On my way to go see Driss. Yes, this is about to become a, a BMX game. Matt. Matt. No, I can't think of any BMX. Oh, who's the one BMX game? <laughs> I don't even. I was gonna say Matt Bowers, but that's somebody in our community. Dave Mira. <laughs> that's called Dave Matt. You could see how I'd kind of Matt Hoffman. It is Matt. Oh, that is one. Matt Hoffman is definitely one. Thank you, Chad. God, I thought I was going crazy. But I told myself not to be too eager. It's all I can do not to race up to Driss. Driss is the camp manager. He's been difficult to get a hold of lately, but now I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's actually beautiful or has some custom feature. What will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore or will I get used to it? Driss turns with a bit of a start. Sable, so, uh, hello? I ask how he is. I'm well. I let it hang there for a moment. But I can't do it. I'm too keen. And the words spill out. I asked just if you might sort of possibly maybe have a bike for me. Your bike. He yells like it's an idea he just had. Your bike. Yes, of course. Your, yeah, your bike. Oh, uh, that fucking bike, right? That I was meant to, that I definitely prepared for you on time. Because, because it's your bike and I've made it. And I've been working on it for quite some time now. The bike that you, that I will give to you. Because today is your gliding, yes. Just not, mm hmm, gliding, yes, that's, of course. My blood runs cold, has he forgotten? By which I mean I arrange it for you in a, in a sort of tutorial for you. A tutorial. Yes, exactly, a learning experience. You see, Sable, before you can own, uh, before one can own their own bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by taking a test ride on a different bike. I think about it and I find I've never heard 
I've heard, never heard that part of gliding, but just does seem earnest, sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. Just gestures to the sand cutter at his side. Sand cutter, that's a cool word, dude. That's a cool word. It's quite old and a little shabby. A tester if I've ever seen one. I'll give it a go. Really? Uh, yeah, good, great. Be gentle, though. This sand cutter is older than Jadakiss. You treat her with respect. Now ride to that bike. Now ride that bike to that ring and back. And here's some advice here, my young glider. Don't fall off. Alright, because this bike actually belongs to somebody else. I lied to you this whole time. Let's take this shit for a ride, dude. Strafe. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. Kind of a weird mechanic to switch mid-drive to just start a strafe. Like, that seems like a weird thing to do, maybe. Did I do it? Did I go through the ring? Was it just the one ring? This looks super... I bet you this looks amazing on stream, right? Because there's just kind of... It's just flat colors. I think it looks dope. Do a tail whip. Fucking... X to get off. Hey, well, how about you tell that to my ex-wife? <laughs> Putting that in my stand-up bit. I don't have an ex-wife. I've never been married. So. Did I do a good job writing? Sir. I returned to Jurassic Summer Magic seemed cut off guard despite knowing I was coming. Sable, congratulations! How was your first pre glide ride? Any strange rattles? Unexplained hissing? Small fires? What do you mean, fires? Surely you'd notice if you're on fire even a little bit. Yes, absolutely. Well, obviously that didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Just is this bike dangerous? Well, what isn't dangerous in this, in this day and age, you know? Have you already been by Hilal? Am I not getting a bike? You're getting... Well, you're, use, you're getting the use of the sand cutter. That's something, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. And Hilal's got something to show you, too. Help out with more of that mobility you're after. My confidence in this exercise is only lightly tarnished. I thank Driss very much for this help in this bike, and I depart for Hilal. Oh, I already talked to Hilal, so I got that... I got that stone thing. Right? I, I already talked to Hilal. Oh shit, am I stuck here? Oh shit. Oh no, never mind. Watch for car doors. I love the font news here. Oh, is this an animal? Nope, that's a bush. That is a bush. Thought I saw the thing while I heard an animal make a noise. Oh, dude. Like, this looks like a dope. No, never mind. Thank you to the kind of. I can't read your name. I think it's Trekkie. Thank you for watching the E3 coverage, everybody. It is Trekkie. Thank you, Trekkie. Oh, is Greg talking to me? Okay. I'll um I'll see it. Uh, uh. I'm just trying to get back up to... to Hilal. I probably shouldn't- I probably should just walk up here, but whatever. 
Hey! Hey! Alright, let's see this tweet from Greg. I'm sure it's gonna be totally uh, wholesome and. It is wholesome thinking about you. It is wholesome. Wow, I was expecting it to be very weird. <laughs> As she looks across the landscape, Zeki. Oh, this is. Oh, Zeki's new. I haven't met Zeki yet. We have Jadakiss, we have Hilal, and we have. Trit, a driss. Wonder what she's thinking about. Something on your mind? Weakly incredulous. I don't know how she's done it. That's Ilaria over there. I follow her gaze as a speck in the distance, which I now understand is her daughter, Ilaria. You're looking at a fucking mountain, to be honest with you. Uh, you just, like, you're looking at rock. Oh, oh. Are they up on the rock? Is she... No, she's fine. I'll get her out. Parenting. We have a short chat about nothing much. Okay, goodbye, Zeki. Wait. I can't tell. Oh, she is up there. Oh, okay. It looked like she was just kind of looking at a rock. What's up here? We got secrets up here? Oh, secrets! Alright, let's see if we can... Let's test the fall damage, everybody. Oh shit, we got a cl- Oh my gosh, we are so athletic! Holy cow! Holy cow, dude! Oh, that's my bike. My bike! <laughs> uh, I get a couple of gifted subs for that joke right there. Uh, Hilal, head over to the temple table. I promise it'll be worth the trip. <laughs> Topical. <laughs> All right, let's head over to the temple. Oh, look at the look at the look at the compass. I don't really know. Do I gotta get off in order to see the temples over here, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, the temple kind of just tells me where my bike is. That's cool. Oh fuck. Jesus Christ. Jeez Louise. Eh? 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 I, I was- I'm pretty sure I was already in the temple. Hello? Do I gotta do some climbing? Let me- let me try some climbing. Let me see how high- Oh shit, no that's- Damn. Oh, that's not gonna work. That stamina meter is running out pretty quickly. Um, let me look for an alternate route, maybe. I probably should bring my bike with me, but it's all good. We're in moonlight right here. Oh shit, no, there's nothing over here. Never mind. Let me grab my bike again. I need to complete tasks for Hilal and Driss. Activate the gliding stone at the altar. Oh, you could track the quest. Thank you to the tracker quest chatter. Whoever said that. Okay. Oh, no. 
was that window sound effect? Was that in the game? Probably not, right? Let me, let me track this one first. Oh, I wish I, can I get some NOS in this thing or what? This art style is fantastic, Killer Aiden. Love this. Love this art style. Again, just a little dash mechanic, a little parry mechanic. Hack and slash shoddy. I think we'd have something really special here. Come on, you stupid bitch. Get up here. Yes. Yes. Oh. Temple's over here. I'm so glad. Oh, Jesus. I'm so glad I don't have to, like, add fuel to the bike or something. That would be really lame. Activate the gliding zone at the altar. I gotta get off here, everybody. God, I keep on hitting, clicking in left stick to, uh, to run, and all it does is kind of make me crouch. Uh, uh. Get up there. Get up there, American Ninja Warrior. Oh, here we go, baby. Ooh, what's this? I don't really know, actually. Not sure. Oh! The fuck? Hey, that sucks. Did they know this was in the game? Look at this 4-4 four, four speed right here. The statue did look like I was- did look like I was pooping. Oh shoot. Oh freak, here we go. A <laughs> weird little leap. The stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Am I afraid? Yes and no. I'm ready for Rohana to know me. I'm ready to know myself. I feel her curiosity in the sacred place. I know I'm in her sight. Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. Oh, I'm not so- oh, this is broken. Oh, okay. I'm not supposed to be in the- Got it. Okay. Little blood- little- little glitch right there. Little bug. I'm not supposed to be stuck in the- In the stone. <laughs> Press A and hold- oh, wow! Yeah, it seems like this doesn't have nav mesh on it. Gamers. It's a little game dev term for you. Put that in your back pocket. If you want some game dev terms to talk on your little podcasts about a little nav mesh right there.
<laughs> Developer talk. Oh shit. I love the way that looks. Jokes on you, my podcast is called Navmesh. Fuck! You got me, god damn it. I'm usually I'm rarely outwitted. I'm rarely outwitted, I'll tell you that much right now. I, I mistimed this one poorly. Oh, nice. We can still got it. We still got up there. Big ups. Oh. I love the way that looks. That's such a nice effect to look at. It's really pretty. Where's my little carrito? There's my little carrito. How long does it last for, is the question. Does it just last? Can I reactivate it? Oh, I can! Oh, shit! Nice! One of these days I'm gonna accidentally not activate it, it's gonna be like Warzone, where I don't pull the shoot in time. Yo, this bike is just leaning to the left. Who's gonna make the penis jokes? Don't do it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Don't do it. Not worth it. This bike is broken as shit. Lineup of demos tonight. We're doing this and then we're gonna play Tunic after this. And if I have time, I'd like to try out wherever that Severed Steel demo is, but I don't know if it's readily available. That's my main worry. Fear to Bread, thanks for the nine months. This looks pretty. Keep up the great work, Annie. Thank you, Fear to Bread. Thanks for watching and hanging out and subscribing, supporting the stream, supporting the dream. Quick 504, 15 months of support. Thank you, Quick 504. Mighty Mouse, 34 months. Hello again, Mighty Mouse. Hello to you. Oh, shit. Am I about to hit this Ibex? Bitch. Oh, I missed you. Hold on. Let me try it one more time. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> ah, quit crouching. I like that this has a day-night cycle because it makes being... It makes daytime that much more enjoyable to look at. Thank you, Handle with Kerr, for gifting out a subscription. Appreciate that very much. Ryan Herridge, six months of support. Ride Dizzle gifted out a subscription as well. Faint a whole year. Thank you for subscribing for a whole freaking year. It's very nice of you, Faint. Oh, we have a nice chat together. Oh, this uh, this dude looks cool. That's a cool mask. I want a mask like that. All right, let's go talk to Hilal. I think this is Hilal over here. Is everything made out of bacon? <laughs> That's a good observation right there. Um, what did Mickey Doug say that, let's see, anyone a Mobius fan? Me. I hope his name is in the special thanks in the credits. When I return to Halal, it's clear they know what I've been, what I've just experienced. They're excited on my behalf in a way that makes me miss them more maybe I can't read right now dude isn't it incredible how does it feel true freedom I tell a lot that hovering is exciting and ramble for a moment about all the things I'll be able to do when I'm out there in the world most of them involve me falling on my head and not getting hurt 
but I'm sure I'll come up with more in practice. Right? You can do anything you want! Hilal's mood doesn't darken, but the sigh they let out holds a bit of sorrow. You're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much. That feeling, just floating on the breeze. But I suppose it's best that it fades with age, hmm? Or else I may have never come back from my gliding. I'd just be out there heaving myself into chasms. I'll heave myself into chasms for you. That's all I'll, I'll throw myself into chasms on their behalf. And they giggle. That's what I like to hear. I know people manage to keep it up, but I don't got... But I don't know that I got time to practice as much as they do. It takes a really serious focus. It all laughs, even there's a bit of regret in it. And I certainly haven't gotten that. So I suppose the gliding wouldn't mean much if it were all gains and no loss, hmm? Think about it, but decide there's already too much loss on my mind to consider it much further. I'm saying goodbye to my clan, my family, my home, my childhood. To lose the perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. You're gonna love it out there, Sable. Even when you don't. You're gonna like the way you look, Sable. I guarantee it. My advice, try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about ritual and independence and all that out there. But the world's an easier place if you put joy first. I thank Halal for their advice and their help and tell them I'll miss them. I'll be... It'll be over before you know it. Warning reassurance all in one. I say goodbye to Halal. Before I go, Halal gestures to... Uh, toward the tower. It seems Cizo wishes to see, see me before I leave the clan. Seesaw. Oh, this is on Xbox. This demo's on Xbox. The game will be on PC as well. Oh, what are you? Oh, a post box. Let's go to the top of the tower. Aaron Porter, thank you for the 29 months. Aaron Porter. Hope you're doing well, my guy. Appreciate you. 39 months. God dang. Glitchy Kai. 13 months. You're killing the E3 coverage. Thank you so much, Glitchy. Thanks for watching along with us. Two years for Raiden 0345. Sweaty Magic. Three months. It's a great name. Sweaty Magic. Luke of Fire, 20 months. Hey, Andy, playing Mass Effect 3 right now, fam. Kai Lang is a bitch. Kai Lang is a bitch. Thousand percent. Nathan G, 21 months, says, I just want to say I appreciate you powering through these days. I can see how tired you were on Sunday. I have no idea how y'all did games cast. I, I needed uh, food, and I needed to sit down, and then I was able to stand back up and kind of get back in it. Quarter of the way to 100 months from Tucker, who subscribed for 25 months. Thank you, Tucker. Appreciate it, big dog. Seasonal's an outclimber to the I Ibexi, but I've known her for nearly as long as I recall, and I think of her more as a kind of distant relation as any other outsider. Machinists, I'm told, are given their post, and by their training and their code, must go to where they are needed. But Cizo has been among us, among us, that's pretty sus right there, so long that it's easy to forget it's an assignment first and foremost. As far as any of us concerned, she is one of us. I think there's a perception among the other clans that the Ibexi are quite insular, or that our destination of Ibexi versus outclanners suggests some nervous othering of those who are unlike us. But in practice, such things are more the result of our nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us and who we must leave behind, but all are welcome to join. And I'm always pleased that Cizo did. Sable, how did you do, clan child? I can only think of one thing. Better now that I'm getting a bike. She has a thro throaty quality to her voice, and it rumbles through her mask when she laughs. She's quite a serious person when uh, most days, and I am always torn between pride and alarm when I manage to make her chuckle. Yes, Jada Kiss told me how excited you were. Cesar sniffs. She also told me Driss would be coming along to get your bike together, but I think he may have... I knew it. What? I hadn't meant to say that out loud. I just told her I was clearing my throat. I don't begrudge just his forgetfulness. Were I tasked with so many odds and ends, I might just be a scattered. And besides, this will be good for you. I want you to scavenge the hover bike parts yourself. I'm gonna make my own hover bike? I asked Cizo if I expected to make my own hover bike. I don't always need that line. We don't need the explanation after the line that I just read. No, you're gonna make you're gonna make your own hover bike. You're gonna build your own hover bike. Oh, you're not gonna make your own hover bike. You're going to build your I see. What's the difference? To make suggests you're creating something, but your bike already exists. They simply haven't taken form yet. Wow, that's really deep. What did I get? A navigator. 
Mark waypoints on the compass. Come piss. It should be useful in finding the old parts. I asked Ezo where I might look, start looking. Our bikes are reborn in the ruined ships and fragments spread apart. A good start would be the ship down there near the end of the camp. Or near the camp. You might find another up on that great wa rock. Near the other side of the canyon. That's a f that's a great rock right there. Another behind on the old damn hill. The old dam on the hill is what I meant to say. Old dam, great rock, ship. <clears throat> I'll be back before I know it. Wait, what? Oh, this is kind of cool. Was it... I don't know if it was... Wait. Oh, I see what's happening. Okay, I see what's happening. I don't know if it was this great rock or the great rock behind it. I'm assuming the great rock behind it. It's just kind of hard to see back there. I'll place a marker there. Why not? And we'll do another great rock over here. Because I feel like this is probably the Great Rock. This other rock might just be good. And then I was told the ship way back here. Leave over here. Whoops. Here we go. It's kind of an interesting concept. I mean, we've seen stuff like this in Breath of the Wild, but... I think it was executed a little bit better in that game. Pretty good game, that Breath of the Wild. Uh, and what else was I told? I already forgot. What'd you tell me? I already forgot what you told me. The Great Rock, the ship, and the something else. Oh, the dam. The dam. Bam. The damn bam. Where's my little bike? I like that it tells me where my bike is. Oh, there's my bike! Dude, I would love to have this. I would love to be able to just float. Wait, hold on. What else is on my thing? Oh, okay, never mind. We're doing the right- we're, we're going in the right order. Let's go to the dam first. This bike is shit. And Tano's got a winner there with Zelda. Oh, hi, Aaron Porter. <laughs> hello, Andy Cortez. I said hello to Andy. <laughs> oh, here's- No, nope, that's a fucking bush. God, that's the second time a bush has tricked me. We gotta fix the LODs on that bush. <laughs> gotta trim that bush a little bit, I agree. So this game is mainly an exploration slash puzzle game. No combat. Very zen though. Just flood the whole city. <laughs> oh, I'm so good at puzzles, Tucker, yeah. Am I meant to climb that? No, no chance in hell. No chance! That's what you got! But if I use this... Wow, what a gamer. This guy knows how to game for sure. This guy's played a video game once or twice in his life. Puzzler Guzzler? Oh, that sounds so gross. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Alright. Pondre, thanks for the 21 months, dude. Thanks for watching, man. I appreciate the love. A 
atomic control panel. So I got that one piece. Was that all I needed? Okay. Cool. Just found it. Alright. I thought I was have to do uh gonna have to do a little puzz. A little puzzy puzz. What's in this ship? Did you ever finish Pathless? No. I did the second boss and then I kinda just stopped. Forgot why. I definitely stopped because of another game. I cheated on the pathless. Yeah. <laughs> oh, half a dozen donuts, a whole year of support. Thank you, half a dozen donuts. And amazing asthmatic for 17 months of love. Thank you very much. Very nice of you all to support with your Prime Gaming love and your Tier 1 love. Using Prime and using your wallet. Very nice of you. Oh, Jesus. Almost killed. Driss. Drizzy Driss. Oh, big ramp right here. Big ramp. Nope. Fuck. I lost a lot of momentum there. A lot of momentum was lost. Oh, shit, is there oh, I thought somebody was sitting in the chair. I'm about to freak out. There's nothing that used to be found on this ship, but I noticed a blinking flashing light. Light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit. Push the button. A voice crackles from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording. It's barely audible. Stop messing about with those buttons, you absolute idiot. The distinct sound of someone slapping somebody else's hand crackles out of the speakers. Sorry, Ramen. Concentrate. I don't think I had to remind him how much we worked to get this far. We're almost there. All right, let's see if it's what that old machinist told us to hold up. Ba, 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 ba. I hear the sound of three clicks, buttons pressing, being pressed perhaps. Okay, when I push this orange thing, pull that level hard. Lever. Yes, ramen. Oh, on Rohana, Rohana's mask. Not that hard. You torn it out. Some of these speakers are filled with static crackling, a low rumble that seems to gradually increase in pitch and frequency. Then that sounds of someone cheering. It worked! We're flying! What sounds like an ungainly person dancing on a metal surface plays out. Okay, okay, let's focus. The thing is moving fast. We need to slow down a bit. How do we do that, Ramen? Let me check what the machine has wrote down for us. A long pause. The whining static sound that started playing when the ship took off seems to be increasing in frequency. It sounds like the ship is picking up pace suddenly. What sounds like someone pulling and pushing on every button they can as quickly as possible plays out. Ramen? Yeah, that lever. Oh, fuck. I accidentally hit the button. We're going too fast. We're going to crash. We need to try to. Oh, they're dead, dude. They're dead. Everybody in the ship died. We got a lot of. Lo that was a big lore dump that I wasn't expecting. I'm scared to hit the button again. Oh, Jesus. Leave it alone. Good, I don't, I don't want to be stuck in that again. Is this like a cutscene? Oh, it is? Oh, shit! Ah! Oh, that was a monster. I thought, <laughs> I thought a little creature was right at me. It scared me. Are you looking for a calibrator? You won't find it here. I've hidden it. You'll never find it. Never, never. Give it back, you son of a bitch. Oh, I gotta find some fucking beetles. Come on, give me the damn thing. I'm doing my gliding. Beetle detour. How do I catch these stupid fucking beetles? 
I'm gonna run. I'm just gonna run him over. It's right here. End it. Just end it. Ask around camp for how to find beetles. Oh. How about I just tell Sifu or Sizu up top, like, hey, your fucking daughter down there is hiding the calibrator. Oh, you're not gonna tell me about. Damn it. I thought you'd be the one to tell me about beetles. I'm just stealing from my own camp. I wonder if they know. Surely, yeah, here we go. Oh no, is that behind me? Oh, it's behind me, oh shoot. I really like the way this compass looks. I could ask about catching beetles for Simon, the re that wretched child. Do you know where I can find some beetles? It's not some beetles or seeds here. You can't walk up to it and catch it though. There's some seeds growing on rocks around the nest. Drop a seed on the floor and the beetle will start eating it. Then you can sneak up to it and grab it. Oh, cool, okay. Thank you, Jadakiss. Oh, that, that, that seemed bug. We probably shouldn't have had that conversation. All right, where's my bike at? Here it is. Hey, Chubb, thanks for the 23 months, Chubb. Appreciate it, dog. Rai Rai owns 22 months of support. Thank you, Rai Rai. B Costa, a Prime Gaming subscription. RF 1982, a six month subscription for tier one. Bone Jangles, 35 damn months. Locked and freaking loaded once again, baby. The Decider 2016 subscribed for five months. Spaced out. Two months of subscription. Thank you, Spaced Out. Oh, the beetles are over here. Alright, so they, they told me to, to get seeds from the bushes and then plant... Plant them. And I'm gonna do just that. But is it is it all? Oh, it is all up top. Yeah, okay. You're scared about Nintendo tomorrow? Don't, dude. There will be no weird Nintendo decisions tomorrow. There will be no WNDs. I want to make that an emote for tomorrow. I want to make it an emote. Oh, Levy, this is beautifully animated. I love. Yeah, the character runs like on twos. There's only a couple of frames there. I think it's really sick. Am I going the right? Okay, I'm still going the right way. Good, good, good. I just need to find the damn seeds, pretty much. Instein, thank you for the 19 months of support, Instein. Thanks for supporting the stream. Again, shout out to Charlie, Rai Rai, RF, Spaced Out, The Decider. Oh, there's a beetle. There's a beetle. But I gotta find... I gotta find, uh... I feel like I can still get your bitch ass on there, man. Alright, where are the- where's the fruits or the seeds or whatever? Nope, that's not it. Where are these seeds at? They told me the seeds were like outside, right? Shit, so I may have wandered all the way in here for no reason. Let's see what's up here. Ah! Wait, what the fuck is this, actually? A chum egg? That was scary.
What the fuck was that? That scared the hell out of me. I thought it was like a snake serpent. Alright, let's go look for these seeds. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Ah, freak. Oh, thank you, 21. <laughs> Where are these seeds? Oh, I can cuss my- oh, cool! Well, I don't have shit for it. I, I don't have anything yet, but still. I remember her saying that the- the seeds were in some bushes somewhere nearby. I remember that as a line of dialogue. Look, here's another one of these weird snakes. I do have superpowers. Well, it's like this, it's this stone that you kind of activate with your body's electricity or something, and you float now. It's essentially the Zelda glider. It's essentially the Zelda glider, Tucker. Oh, shit. Look at us just on top of the world here. Oh, you know what? I wonder if it's up there. Look at these, these rocks look like dicks. I really think they might be up here. Just gotta wait for my stamina to come back. And even if they're not up here, I'm just happy kind of exploring up here. I really am kind of getting those Breath of the Wild vibes of just... Run somewhere and see if you find something neat. Now granted, there's no combat and there's no cool jazz music when you get into combat, but... Some birds up there. Another one of these snake-looking things. Oh shit, nope. Something's broken here, never mind. Oh, there we go. Look in the trees below? Oh, okay. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh! Ew, these trees are gross-looking, dude. Oh, nice! Thank you for that hint! Yeah, come get this shit, bitch. Ew, these trees are really gross looking. The trees are truly gross looking. And also, what does this little freak want with beetles? You know? Oh, Metal Gear style. Here we go. Oh, did you eat this? You ate it already. You bitch. <laughs> oh, you're all mine. You are all mine. You stupid beetle. You Ringo star bitch. You're mine. Eh. 
You're so distracted by food, that's me. You could put a bag of flaming hot fries in front of me and a terrorist organization can enter my room and just take everything from me and I would just be so distracted by the snack. Sucking, sucking from this little thing, huh? Yeah, we got three. All right, let's give these beetles to whatever her name was, Saima. Oh, didn't mean for that to happen. Oh, my bike's over here. Nice. Hudbutt, thanks for the nine months. Get those beetles. Yeah, this game looks so much cooler when it's daytime. I love the I love the way it looks right here. This sort of harsh sunlight. Where's my stupid bike at? Oh, it's right here. Alright, let's go deliver this shit. Dad Vice, thank you for the three months of Prime Gaming. Hashtag Monsties. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining the revolution. The Monstie revolution. Where's this stupid ass child at? Where's this stupid child? Oh, back here now? Underneath? Oh yeah! Hey, idiot. Oh, she's sad because I'm leaving. Oh. God never came back after the last gliding. And she said you were her friend. Nothing worse than crying like that as a kid. Felt like I was going to suffocate. Find a power supply. <laughs> you got it. The music's so calming and nice. I agree. Tilde fade. Mm -mm -mm. If I were a boy. Find a power supply. How did I do that? Oh, here we go. Oh, it's near the Great Rock. But we don't know which Great Rock it, it was. I put gr two Great Rocks out because I wasn't sure which was actually a Great Rock. Technically, it's all, sub you know, subjective. I'm assuming this is the Great Rock over here, yeah. This definitely looks like there will be some pieces of mechanical parts. Here we go. Oh, this may not be enough stamina. Oh, just enough. Perfect. Any fast travel? Uh, not that I've seen yet, Lexi. We're just kind of... The, the tutorial starts basically at the beginning of the game.
Right now I'm looking for... I was supposed to have a bike built for me, and the dude who's supposed to build it just completely forgot, right? I had a lot of stuff happening this week. So it's my job to come look for the three parts to build my own bike. Tough goes, thanks for the 14 months. I'm very pumped for Nintendo. Very pumped. Very excited. Thank you for your 14 months. <laughs> Nothing in there? No money? Come on. That's a life lesson right there. Don't always expect treasure. Oh, here we go. Time to get back to Sizo. Am I able to crouch and walk through this? Oh, I broke the game. Oh, I broke the game. Oh, I broke the game. I tried to crouch and now it's just continuously... No, okay, no, I broke the cycle. Cool. It was just like, it kept on crouching on its own. Alright, my bike is over here. Let's go back to the bike. Big free fall. Oh, that's so cool. Welcome to the world of Sable. A game that I made all of my own over Father's Day weekend because my father decided he'd rather go to a baseball game with my older brother. He and I have never really gotten along or seen eye to eye. Told me video games are a waste of time. They ended up catching a home run ball, actually. Wish I could have been there. But we'll talk about that later. But more on that later. <laughs> I'm supposed to see a uh, homegirl up here on top of the tower. If I were a boy Is this out? No, just the demo. It's out on Xbox right now. Demo is available on Xbox. After we're done with this, we're gonna play the Tunic demo. Which I've heard is pretty difficult, but as you know... Uh, I'm pretty fucking good at video games, so... I'm uh, not worried at all about that one. Well done, Sable. Yes, this is everything we need! Are you ready to assemble a bike of your own? I'm ready. And let us head to the workshop. If I were a boy... What you must understand, Sable, is that the components you acquired, they fit together. Not by chance, not by effort, but by nature. They belong to her. They have always belonged to her. All we're doing is assembling her from what she has already been. <coughs> anyway, take a hit of this. And then start building. Among my clan, we believe these machines have names. Held for ages like deep secrets, unheard by those unequipped to listen. We will find this one's name together. What the fuck? What the fuck am I supposed to do? What the fuck? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Here are the parts of the bike. Here are the parts of the bike. Maybe I should call my friend Mike. I think he's playing Call of Duty. I think he's playing Call of Duty. I need some booty. Quarantine's got me feeling some type of way. <laughs> mm. 
No, I didn't mean to do that. Gliding bike booster. Oh shit. Gliding bike wings. I'm in the Oh never mind. I was I was supposed to be underneath it. I was very confused by the camera change there. Music sick as hell. All right, what do I do? N activate. Oh shit! It's working. Listen. All I kn all at once I know the hoverbike's name. Sea Moon. I say it in a whisper to let Cizo know. Sea Moon, Sea Moon. Well done, Sable. I asked what sort of name it is. If it speaks to my. If it does, then I do not know. Perhaps you'll find out on your journey. Or perhaps you won't. But I hardly think that matters. You are bonded all the same. You are ready then for, my, for the gliding. May all the gods turn their faces from you, Sable. You must learn to listen to Simoon, to care for her. Seek out my fellow machinists on your travels. They will teach you the art of machine whispering. That's so cool. Machine whispering? That sounds sick. The machinist badge. You've met, you'll meet plenty of my ilk on your gliding. Show them your worth, and they'll give you more badges. Did I, did I see that I got a bow? I skipped through that. Am I going to be shooting shit? Japanese breakfast is definitely the type of artist that I would take a girlfriend to go see at like South by Southwest or some shit. Thank you for watching the Sable demo. Appreciate it. Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to play it, it's available right now on Xbox store. So go download that bad boy for free and we'll see you in the next video. We'll be doing tunic as well. Have a good one, everybody.